Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. Welcome to episode number 421. 421, people. Alrighty, let's see. Before we find out who's joining us, let's find out where's our people on the other side. Okay, let's invite him. Come on in. Come on in. Here we go. Going once. Going twice. And let's see. Um, here we go. And okay. And change it to. And move it up. And share it. Come on. Share. Oops. No, 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 no. Nope. No, no. That's not what we want. Oh, no, no, we're not. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Uh oh, stop. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, that's not what we want. Okay, this is, no, 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 stop doing this. Okay, here we go. No, we're not doing this. Okay. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Okay, here we go. And yes. See, people on the other side always give me a hard time. Let's see who is joining us for this beautiful Monday. Mondays, it's like 80 degrees out. Hello, Sarah. Come on, everybody. Rita, where you been? How are you? Welcome back. Hello, people. Come on over. Catherine Allen, how you doing? How was my weekend? It was great. I We have guests. We have Maha sisters from Canada and from Baltimore, and they're leaving tomorrow. So we've been Saturday, we went to San Diego, and Sunday we went to Los Angeles. So that tells you the driving and the fun. They had a great time. We have a beautiful state, people, in California. If you ever want to visit, you don't know where to go on vacation, come down to California. And we might cancel you. Just kidding. Uh, hello, Chris Martel. Hello, Bobby Miller. Welcome. Becky Voth, how are you? Michael Ramirez, how are you, my beloved? And let's see. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for my dedication to the show. It is going on two years, people. We, I think we passed the two-year mark. I need to check. But 421 shows, 4 plus 2 equals 1. You're right. Correct again, Becky Wolf. And let's see. I'm glad you. I'm not the only one who talks to my devices. <laughs> oh, I always talk to my devices. Before it was used to be called a phone. Do you ever have an echo loop going on? I don't know what an echo loop, but I'm not hearing anything. I wore my kilt tonight. Good for you. Just keep your legs together. <laughs> I don't know. Blessed to see. That's what Middle Eastern moms teaches their daughters. Like when you sit down, make sure you always keep your knees together and just always be aware. All right. And I go, Mom, I'm a boy. She goes, why are you wearing a skirt? It's not a skirt. It's a kilt, Mama. We're Middle Eastern. It's a skirt. No, it's a kilt, Mama. Oh, bring your knees together and shut up. No, I'm just kidding. Bobby and I were kilts tonight. Okay. Welcome to your club. Thank you. Michelle Vullison. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, late for own funeral, Wisconsin. Matthew Dirks, you're not late. Welcome. Come on in, people. It is warm here in California. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Did you guys see the moon? Or Oh, you guys don't see it from your states. It's only in California. We have a full moon in California. And um, let's see. Have you ever noticed? It's a, I don't care how slow-paced is your life. You can get up at noon, read the paper for two hours, Text and be on Facebook for another two. Get up, take two hours in the shower, get dressed. Walk out of your place going somewhere. The elevator is closing and you run and put your arms up. Wait, 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 wait. You always try to stop the elevator from closing. Is that because you're in a hurry? No, you're not. It's just a habit, isn't it? You never see it. Like you're going into a building, you see the elevator closing. There's already 100 people in it. I'm like, ah, ah, and everybody tries to be nice, like, oh, 
<laughs> we're trying to help you open it again and then your arm is stuck and you're but the whole idea is like okay you can wait for the other one you didn't do anything all day you can wait for two minutes to get the second the next elevator no we don't want to waste time just a thought just an observation that's going nowhere hey it's going up that's where the idea is going well last Thursday, I asked you, give me one place it is never appropriate to wear a kilt. Give me one place it is never appropriate to wear a kilt. This is what you guys came up with. At number 20, on a trampoline. Number 19, during the gymnastics routine. <laughs> At 18, rock climbing. At 17, yoga class. At 16, doing cartwheels. At 15, to work as a plumber. At 14, a water slide. At number 13, jungle gym. At 12, skydiving. At number 11, bungee jumping. At number 10, on an escalator. At number 9, dancing with the rockets. At number 8, river dancing up the stairs. At number 7, pole vaulting. At number 6, while you're replacing a billboard. At number 5, wind tunnel. At number four, in Iran, they have strict codes. At number three, at a rodeo. At number two, at an old ladies Christian Bible conference. And the number one, worst place to wear a kilt, on a glass bottom walkway. That's what it is. Amy's here. Hello, Amy. At the circus. Yes. Well, Nazat elevator observation could go either way, up or down. Right. Uh, Michelle said... All right. Hello, hello. Too hot for leggings. Yes. I don't try to get on the elevator if I see someone I don't want to share the ride with. Okay, I wear quilt without my leggings. All right. TMI. <laughs> I'm glad you had a great weekend with your family. Thank you. It was. I didn't do any work this weekend. Did not do any work. On Friday, this is funny. You guys know that Governor... Huckabee has a TV show on TBN in, the studios are in Nashville. I did it a few years ago. And um, some of you know the story. Uh, you know, Governor Huckabee, when you do his show, he sends a limo to pick you up from your home in your state and take you to the airport. And then when you arrive at the airport, they have a limo pick you up from the airport, take you to your hotel. And then from your hotel to the studio. And from the studio back to their hotel. And then from your hotel back to the airport. Well, you know me when I ride in a limo, I sit up front next to the driver. And they don't like it because they go, sit in the back, it's your limo. I said, no, no, no. Uh, I don't want to be alone. I have fear of being alone. <laughs> I lied to them. I want to sit next to you. And they go, oh, I have my stuff here. I go, well, put your stuff in the back. No one is sitting there. So I sit next to them, and we start talking. And at one point, I would just try to put my arm, like, talking to them and said, hey, what if we crash? What would happen? A lot of them, they, oh, man, don't, that's bad karma. No, I'm a good driver. I'm like, do you have your driver's license? Ha, <laughs> it's a joke, you know. And then they go, I don't know. I go, would you, do you know where you're going to go when you leave this earth and that's opened an opportunity for me to pray with them and I always kind of put my arm on their shoulder while they're driving and said don't close your eyes and I pray for them well that day that Nashville Tennessee day when I was picked up by the driver to go back to the Nashville airport after I did my show they sent me a black suburban with a white interior almost brand new they brought flowers. They sent flowers to say thank you. So the driver was a really, really old gentleman wearing a black tuxedo, black suit. Not tuxedo, black suit. And he was sitting there quietly. Somehow I felt I was in a casket. The guy is sitting there not moving. I'm next to him, white inside, black outside, and there's flowers. So... The guy starts moving. 
he gets, you know, start driving. You know, he gets out of the parking lot. This is a true story. I'm not making this up. A car is coming at 40 miles an hour, and he doesn't see it. He continues going. The guy is almost hit us. He just <clears throat> squeezes tires. He's flipping us with every finger he has. And I, I told the driver, did you see this guy? He goes, what guy? I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Then we get on the highway. And right away, he goes all the way to the fast lane without even looking behind him. And cars behind us, like, honking. I'm like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. And he's right sitting there. So I put my arm around him, not to pray for him, but I want to feel like some, trying to feel some <laughs> pulse, anything. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm like, this guy, this guy's dead. I'm in a casket, and I'm moving casket. And then we get to the airport. So I grab, you know, some cash to give him a tip. He goes, oh, I don't want a tip. I'm like, why? He goes, oh, money. I don't need money. I'm like, he's dead. Dead people don't need money. And then he goes, can you just give me a good reference? I'm like, to who? Six Flag, man, you know, Six Flag or what? The Dignity Memorial? <laughs> What do you want me to? Who do you want me to recommend you to? It was it was alright. I'm still alive. And so anyway, so I call, I send an email to the to the the new lady that works booking. I say, hey, I'd like to come back. She goes, oh, we don't have anything. Oh, maybe I don't know. In a few months. So I'm like, wait a minute. I'm friends with the governor. I mean, friends as. We text each other. So I texted them. I said, hello, governor. It's been a while. Hey, hope your daughter makes it to the governor of Arkansas, all that. He's like, thanks, Naz. You know, you're doing great. I said, hey, I'd like to be on the show again. He goes, of course. The next day, I get an email. Would you like August 12th or August 5th? So August 12th, I'm going to be on the Huckabee Show in Nashville, Tennessee. Boom. It's not how funny you are, it's who you know. But you have to be funny, that's how you get to know people. Anyway, that's for comedians. Anyway, hello back everyone, I said hello to me. Okay. Okay, I just went outside, there's a slight rain break, high cloud. You're in Washington State, it's gonna rain. I didn't see the moon, maybe it's too early. Well, it's only in California. Walking on the moon. Michael Ramirez, you know. Bobby, got number two, yes. I made top six. Yeah, you did, without the help of my mother. I miss you all. Oh, Bobby Ebert, jumping on for a few minutes before bed. I'm up two hours past my bedtime. I'm sorry. Well, don't make any more cookies where you have to beat your husband for them. That was the last time we heard from you. A twelve ten one. yes. I did like to thank my mom and dad. And most importantly, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 12, 10, 1, yes. Oh, you got three of them. Yep, you did. Outer space. Oh, oh you gave your speech. Get some long time no see, yes. All right, let's see. I made California walnuts brownie for Philip. I hope he's feeling better. Hello, everyone. Miss you all. We miss you too, Debbie. I wore kilt on limo once. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here we go. Michael, good to see you, Bobby, right? Thanks, good to see you, Eva. Without Lily Navas, whom will I copy? Well, Bobby Ebert, because she's leaving in a minute. On my way to thank you now. <laughs> okay, not a casket on wheels. It was, it's a true story, so hopefully they don't send me the same guy. The limo driver just needed Jesus to take the wheel, a ghost. <laughs> oh, maybe, I never thought of it that way. Are you ghosting people? <laughs> a group of us state farmers rented a limo in Los Angeles. Our, our last night there to see the town. Two sat with the driver, but he said it was against the rules. Oh, against the rules to sit with the driver, yeah. Well, they all let me. How are you, friend? <laughs> Forest Lawn Funeral Services, that's true. Not in suitors anymore, just waiting to start physical therapy. 
Yeah, I just hope that don't send the... I know. I have a crush on Huckabee's daughter. Okay. Well, reach out to her. She's married and have kids. Okay, so that ends your crush right there. No worries, no cookies at this time. Oh, time to hydrate. I've been talking. Blah, 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 because I miss you guys. Hydrate and share all 75. Okay, here's your first question for the night, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, today, do you guys know what today is? Today is National Fragrance Day. National Fragrance Day is today. So, now can you give me some names for perfumes that didn't make the cut? Some names for perfumes that didn't make the cut. Those are the names. You hear of Chanel 5 and all that. You can tell I made up this question because it, maybe it's grammatically wrong, but hey. Nez, were you just speaking in tongues before you drank your water? Sure I will. <laughs> Farm Fred. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Let's see. I'm always careful when, when I put a laugh for, for Sarah because I don't want I don't want cow pie. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> per pure fuzz. Okay, baby, spit up. Okay, the the troop is back. They went to downtown Disney today. Downtown. That doesn't mean, which means you didn't have to pay two hundred, three hundred bucks to get in. Edit, edit toilet. <laughs> Edit toilet number five. That's funny, Bubba. Toilet water. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Ooh, the <de> dung. <laughs> okay, sorry about the dog. Ben Gay. <laughs> Good one, Amy. Silent but deadly. Okay. <laughs> Sour monkeys. Sriracha number two. <laughs> Ow. Channel number zero. How did you combine Sriracha with that? Channel number two. Number zero. The Plumber's Blunger. Mystery Spoon. <laughs> Chanel number two. I'm not, see, Michelle is copying Mike, Mike Ramirez now. <laughs> Michelle, we don't copy. That emoji belongs to Michael. <laughs> oh, de la dairy. <laughs> the derriere. Sounds French to me. <laughs> Port a party, porter party. Are you guys laughing? Is this just me? Durian douche. <laughs> Dog poo. The blue boy. <laughs> English feather. I don't get it. English feather? <laughs> what is that? Is that supposed to smell bad? Sweaty socks. <laughs> Vicks vapor rub. Eh, they clear the room. <laughs> Stinky cheese. Mr. Magoo's in the zoo. Now show day. <laughs> New from Ajax. Fauci. <laughs> Air of odor. <laughs> odor. Air of odor. Eau de la vomit. <laughs> Jim's galore. Swamp serenade. <laughs> oh, you have a way with words, Debbie. A swamp serenade. <laughs> this is funny. English leather. Oh, not English feather. English leather. B.O. perfume. <laughs> Send the overflown septic. <laughs> Good one. Sarah's on tonight. Fear. Can you smell it? Odile Limburger. <laughs> Blue cheese. Teen spirit <laughs> under the armpit. <laughs> COVID-19, the cough. <laughs> Poison ivy. Perspiring eau de perfume. <laughs> Spoiled milk. Essence of masculinity. Oh, that smells bad. Stinky, stinky cow. Skunk... Oh, axe spray. 
Seaweed. Ew. Moldy cheese number 13. Vikings lot fish number 5. <laughs> you are from Wisconsin, Matthew, aren't you? <laughs> De la used letter box. <laughs> Teen boy's bedroom. Oh, no. Old man. <laughs> Bobby, are you still up? Hmm. All day to gasoline fumes. Pew. Pew. Oh, sorry. What was I thinking? Thank you. Thank you. Who reminded me? Thank you, Michael. Where am I? Oh, shoot. I am disappearing. Okay. Hold on. Beauty break. Alrighty, sorry about that. Okay, melting, <laughs> melting plastic. Max freeze muscles cream. The odors of bo. Bark of tree. Beyond your dreams of refrigerator science experiment. Mystery musk. <laughs> Dirty diaper perfume. Winds of change. <laughs> that would be a nice name for perfume. Winds of change. The per the diaper. Oh, day the sandwich under the bed <laughs> for days. You disappeared now. I was taking a beauty break to change the camera t setting. Locker room number nine. <laughs> All right, Bobby, we missed you. Welcome back. Essence of thrift store. <laughs> Sweaty gym socks, blue cheese, that was blown away by the stinky perfume. Toe jam toilet water. That's funny. Oh, they the sweaty socks. Sharpie. Old stinky shoes number seven. Smells like cabbage. De la German, my dad. <laughs> Oh, eh, the truck stop. <laughs> Good one, Rochelle. Dirty sock perfume. Sniff break. <laughs> That's right. It's not a beauty break. Gym bag body spray. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> eh, the rest stop. <laughs> Cow pie chips. The scent of the embalming room. Se sewerage perfume, Porto John, Hillary's sock drawer, the burnt hair, Eau de gym locker, <laughs> scratch and sniff, e the armpit, stinky sewer smell, pet, sour crest, <laughs> more German coming out, <laughs> yep, inner <You know> water. <laughs> <laughs> Mother-in-law's medicine cabinet. <laughs> hey, Luke, welcome back. Le brown stripe. <laughs> Ow. Smell the color nine. <laughs> Ed the oozing. Color of the wind. Of your wind. <laughs> Esti chowder. <laughs> Rita, Rita, Rita. It's, it's funny. The essence of roadkill. Diaper bag axe spray. So is the Chanel. 
and Colton News had the dog food factory, and they had the onion factory there. And the smell came every day, it's stinky. Oh, yeah, well, you remember North Corona, Norco used to be the cow, the dairy farm all over, and man, it stunk. And when the wind came out, it was horrible. And somehow they managed to send all the cows to Wisconsin. I'm serious. They moved the cows and they started putting buildings and, you know, houses because the real estate is very expensive here. Not very expensive, but it's expensive in Cal Southern California. So it used to be on a bad windy day you could to smell the, the cow manure from uh, Norco, but it's gone now. Thank God. Diesel Cologne, scent of a smelly woman. Sounds like a movie. Burning corn de la pop. <laughs> Fermaldehyde. <laughs> Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Sunny day roadkill. Cod liver spoil. The plumber's crab. <laughs> Dog food perfume. Scent de la dead seagull. Puppy pad perfume. Chris Rice song, <laughs> the essence of royal flush, <laughs> cow manure fragrance, four day old pits, Eddie Mausoleum. <laughs> That's French, isn't it, Sarah? Dead, you're dead on. <laughs> Eddie Bad Poo, <laughs> old cheesecake factory, especially in Orange County, California. Yeah. The smell of disappointment. Copying me. <laughs> Le Penguin perfume. There's still dairy farms in Chino Hills. That's true. Maybe that's where the smell is coming from. Chino Hill. Watery eyes in Seattle. <laughs> the Russian roll on. <laughs> that smells bad, doesn't it? Alrighty, are you giving up on the smells? Will burn the hair out of your eyes. Essence of Shrek Swamp, right? Rotten garbage perfume. Eau de, de sulfur. <laughs> okay, let me change the question on you. Okay, Eau de dead opossum. <laughs> Better out than in perfume. Better out than in perfume. Okay, here's the next question. This came Washington politicians. Essence of fish tank. Okay. You guys keep coming? Uh, keep them. Chicken barn. <laughs> that doesn't sound German, Pat. The rotten egg. Burnt rubber. Rotten eggs. Okay, let's see. All right, here's your next question, people. I hope this works. I hope this works. Please work. Don't do that to me. Come on. Ah, I knew it. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna save that question till tomorrow because of it's not gonna let the camera work here. So what the question is uh, what are you planning to deduct this tax season? I hope some of you didn't do your taxes. So what are you planning to deduct? on your to deduct this tax season so what are you guys planning to deduct on your taxes this tax season and stay Christian <laughs> no okay give me some answer Ed de la Belle button <laughs> okay 
okay, not so sweet pea. Biden's presidency. Okay, gumbo glamour. Ed, the vomit comes with free also. <laughs> 14 day old egg cell. Ah, Heller is missing email perfume. Rotten egg. My time watching live with Nas. That's deductible. It's, it helps with your career, right? You learn more comedy. Therefore, it is tax deductible. My cat. <laughs> my mother in law. Everything my ex wife buy. <laughs> My non winning lottery tickets. Sarah's rooster. <laughs> she, she doesn't have a rooster. The invisible Naz. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm still invisible. Hold on, hold on. Let me call the boss. John? Johnny? John? Hold on. John is magical. I know you can't see me. He's going to fix it. What happened is I had, I put a video on TikTok. And it was me like licking the nozzle of the gas because it's very expensive. Hey, John, can you help me? Somehow the camera, no, no, not the camera. Over there, it went to cam three, not cam four, and it stopped. So anyway, I had 90, 90 views. So John removes it. He does something to it, puts it back. It's probably at 25,000 views in one day. This guy is magic. Here he is, okay? The background was the, what do you call it, the taxes. I don't know why it says camera three or something. No, it's, it's, it's always on camera four. Weird. And then the second one, which I was I was gonna do today about the boat. That's also Is courtesy. One you want to do? Courtesy, yeah, later. Okay. I don't know. Oh, because I didn't have enough. It's a smaller post. Uh, this is technical issues we're dealing with. Right now, I would like to be on the taxes one. I'm good. So go to Texas, click on it. All right, 102 people are watching. Thank you so much for watching. The question is, what are you planning to deduct this tax season? Is Michael Ramirez still talking about Fern? Hmm, he hasn't this weekend while I was gone. You forgot to unblock him? Would you like to unblock him? No. No? Not after this. Not after this? He said if money was not a problem, he was going to grow. F he was going to produce fern too for you. Give you the money for it. Go for it. Go for it? You're still blocking him? <laughs> Sorry, Michael. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My personal research on the government corruption. <laughs> That's deductible. Uh, I don't have a rooster, so you're <laughs> no nest. All the gas, but in our car last year, my back waxing. <laughs> okay. I licked up my phone, then Sarah asked if I put one letter in a comment. I said no, then saw what it was. Now, not on purpose, but funny. Oh, I see. My imaginary friend that live in my head, Ness was deducted. <laughs> Ness, can you sign my book, Hope, in 24 Hours? When I see you for lunch that I'm going to buy for you, I will sign it. Ness is a superhero. He's an invisible man. Time, all time, lost. Okay, let's hydrate and share, people. Please hydrate and share all 102. By the way, people, I found that tomorrow. I have to take Maha's sister to the airport, which is... Me, during the time we're doing the show. Uh, so, no show tomorrow, but we're going to have the podcast. 
my guest on my podcast tomorrow is this the amazing uh, Dennis Agajinian. Dennis Agajinian holds the Guinness Book of World Re- Record for the fastest string guitarist in the world. He performed for with Billy Graham, with Franklin Graham, with Greg Laurie, and with the Laughter for All with Nazareth. You know, he's an amazing guy, great, wonderful man, been all over the world. And still goes all over the world. So we're going to have him tomorrow on the podcast, just sharing his stories, maybe with Billy Graham, Greg Laurie, and all these guys. Anyway, so tomorrow, 6.30, we'll see you. And then probably at 8 o'clock, I need to run to LAX, which is about an hour away, to drop Maha's sister to the airport. Naz is a superhero. I will not read the rest, Chris. I'm I'm happy with that. Silent but deadly for the perfume. Johnny Five. <laughs> it's time to hide. Johnny. John, I'm waiting on Fern too. <laughs> yeah. Naz, I will write off his fees to John. <laughs> Possible abduction. Uh, time to... <laughs> this year's gasoline. Uh, Naz has been deducted from my taxes. Yeah, my Roman... Persecution. <laughs> Stop ferning around. <laughs> no, I picked up my phone not like Hi, good to see you. It's making sure you know your numbers. <laughs> my elbow grease. Thank you, John. Time to hydrate and share my shadow. Smart my sanity. You can deduct that. I'm writing off each time I hydrate and share. <laughs> Didn't we do a question like this before? No, the other question was something similar to this, but it was also about tax season. But it was not. But our grocery bill, my third eye, my hydrant, everything the Biden administration takes away from me. I was wondering if Michael Ramirez is good standing against again or not. And I thought he was, but then <laughs> can I deduct my backseat driver? Sure. My mind, the seven up I drink while hydrating and sharing. Have John sub in for you? I uh, he wouldn't do it. I asked him last time him and his friend Connor who used to host the show for a while. Once in a while, but Thank you for signing my book, Nez. Taking the sister-in-law to the airport. Be sure to stop all the way this time. She can't tuck and roll like she used to. (laughs) Okay, I'll miss life, but glad you're still doing the podcast tomorrow. Yes, I'm deducting my fingernail clippings. You might have missed the one letter that showed up that I didn't know I had accident. I didn't see it. Thanks for helping. Mark Mund, welcome. My 2001 flushes. <laughs> Deducting the hours I'm up past my 8 p.m. bedtime. Okay. Adopted kids on who they are. <laughs> An hour from Corona is a lucky day. <laughs> Do you live with Nas from your car? Do live with Nas from your car. Oh. Okay, I'm deducting the gas intake when my husband comes. Okay. <laughs> Everything, every time I take a breath. Ness, can we take calls tonight? I don't know how to take calls on this OBS. Do you want to call? I would see you if you if you show up. If you want to show up on the screen, I'll take it. Everything I spend on hanging out with wise guys, deducting the warranty caller, all the grocery bills, Pancho, how are you? Well, almost forgot, but I'm here. Love all of you. We love you too, man. The 40 million out of work dependent on my taxes. Wow. The government owes you money. Gas in Death Valley costs 9.89 a gallon. Oh, that's going to Vegas? Oh, they get you, huh? Oh, man. You know, it was... I filled up... Yesterday, yes, 
I filled it up yesterday for six twenty five a gallon. That was regular gasoline. Six twenty four a gallon. The cost of transporting the people from the other side to each episode of Life with Ned. Okay. I was gonna deduct that, but you can have it. Can I deduct the squares Michael wins from cheating? <laughs> okay. All the time I've been in stitches. Okay, Ned. Call now is on his cell phone. Michael, just call now. My cat's shadow. How many of you are on Getter? Is this the new, the new Twitter? So you don't get uh, canceled. Did you guys know today the Babylon B was was canceled, or it was blocked from Twitter? I have Nas number. It's in the yellow pages. Is it? Don't be giving that information, Mr. Bobby. You're giving people ideas. Deduct all the Russian yachts. My woman's basketball uniform so I can dominate the WNBA. Call me on Messenger. Huh. I think I'm on Getter. Love it. Well, look up Comedian Nazareth and see if you can friend me. The can of Rogaine I got my uncle for Christmas. <laughs> Paid three sixty two per gallon today for gas in Louisiana at three sixty two. So it's double here. <whistles> oh I'm on getter parlor. Okay, Dave, add me up. Parlor and gay. The real Dave Ebert. You got to get a paddle lock on your gas cap to stop gas theft. I know. Just got on True Social about a week ago. It's great, too. All the pain and suffering I've endured by not having any in and out for two in two years. That's taxable. I'm on Getter. All right, Debbie. Comedian Nazareth. What's Getter? It's like, uh, it's like Twitter, but for... For more conservative people, I think. Okay, it is time for the Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record, people. Guinness Book of World Record. Today is... Thank you, Becky. Okay, today is... Oh, shoot. The highest gas got in Michigan that so was four twenty five and has since gone back down to three eighty nine. Okay. I'm gonna see if we can show me. Okay, this is not showing me. So I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna do the Guinness Book of Ford record from here. Okay. I copied Lily, but she's away on a mission. Right, guys. Today is, uh, shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today is National S California Strawberry. National California Strawberry Day. And the question is, the longest strawberry cake was achieved by municipality of San Mauro, Torinas in Italy, in San Mora Torinas, in Turin, Italy, on May 2019th, right before COVID, they made the longest strawberry cake. How long is it? How long was it to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record? It's over a hundred under a thousand feet. Over a hundred under a thousand feet. <laughs> Neil, easy on Michael. <laughs> Mark Mund, yep, a strawberry, California, bang. All the times I've told about the rooster and ruby, the red hen. The, that's deductible. Bang. <laughs> Taking my phone to bathroom, nature. Oh, don't do that, Michael. That's TMI. Sarah. 150, 250, and 350. Okay. Chris Martel, 357, 483, and 967. 
Becky Ottenberry, 226, 336, and 446. Okay. The numbers are coming up very fast. That's good. Okay, Bobby Miller, 101, 201, 301. Dave, 545, 720, 295. Amy, 464. Dolores, 277, 498, and 874. Neil, 259, 471, 711. Amy, 721. Matthew, 111, 255, 555. Amy, 350. Becky, 152, 498, 277. Becky Voss, that is. The Rooster Ruby, the Red Hen, would love some strawberry cake. And hey, so would I. Some dark chocolate drizzled on... Oh, okay. Back to food. Uh, 387, 478, and 197 for Debbie Malone. Bobby Ebert, 645, 721, and 456. Catherine Allen, 456, 345, and 899. Pancho, 345, 456, 567. Michael Ramirez, 226, 336, and 446, copying Becky Ottenberry. Okay. <laughs> and some whipped cream, too, for the rooster. And, and Sarah continuing to salivate over the chocolate strawberry. Strawberry shortcake with cinnamon drizzle icing down the side. Ooh, it weighed at 6,000 pounds. Well, thank you. How long was it, though? Are you looking it up, Amy? But I'm proud of you. You just gave us the weight. All righty. Sold? Sold? Are we sold on this? Going once? Did everybody guess? Going twice. Okay. And before we solve, you have to hydrate and share all 81 people. Sold, sold, sold. Okay. The longest strawberry cake is was 329 feet. 329 feet. I think the closest was Becky Ottenberry with 336. Okay, don't tell Michael he's in the bathroom. So don't tell him he copied and won two. He's winning. He's copying the winning numbers. And this is too good to be a good guess every time. So, you know, I know he needs toilet paper. And <laughs> since he is where he is, he, he also wins with you. You give him one, one sheet of this, Becky Ottenberry. I know you're generous. Alrighty, congratulations, Becky, for 336. That was the closest. This is about seven numbers away. Then Sarah came with 350, which was the second win. Solid gold, sold. <laughs> congratulations, we win. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, it's 9.19. Hey, listen, today is also Common Courtesy, courtesy Day. Common Courtesy Day. We as Christians, we have to shine that way. You know what I mean? My left wrist got me out of jury duty. All right, okay. You know, like you open the door for someone, you help an, an old lady cross the street, you say thank you and please. You do all this common courtesy. And, uh, you know, what is some of the stuff that you do that out, you know, above and beyond the normal common courtesy that maybe we can learn from you? Uh, what is something you can do? Like, for example, yesterday my mom couldn't, you know, she doesn't leave the house, so she didn't want to, she didn't see my Maha sister, so she called me and said, would you take him to a nice restaurant and pay for it from me? So that was a nice, above and beyond, the normal 
courtesy or a nice thing to do. What is some stuff you do? I know don't let your left hand know the right one, but I'm telling you what, your left hand will never find out tonight. I won't say anything. So let me know. What is some of the stuff? Michael deserves a quarter of a quarter of a quarter sheet of square of toilet paper. Why no one congratulates to me? Amy said 352. Yeah, Amy and Sarah come in second place. Okay, good night. Everyone, pray for a move of God in the heart of our head baker. Okay. We will do. We will do. <laughs> are you talking? You are the head baker, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Give me some. Some things you done or you doing that's kind of common, more than common courtesy. That's a nice thing. Huh, well, I don't slap people with fish. That's good. <laughs> Sins of omission. What is this? Doorbell coming. Yeah, in two more minutes. I said to a guy, you have a sticker on his back shirt. I took it off for him at the store. That's nice. That is nice, Amy. People nowadays, they see something wrong. They don't say anything. Like, hey, you know what? You're Pay for a veteran on leave breakfast or lunch and his buddies. <gasps> what happened? What happened to my show? Huh. This is weird. Pray for Remy and spoken for us. Okay. I opened the door on live with Naz. Say hello to people. Does that count? Of course it counts. It counts a lot. That's so kind of you. Alrighty. Counts double. Yes. It's very nice. Okay. One more minute to prayer time. Okay. What else? Let's see. One of the things I love to do, and I, I don't know if you can do that, mostly the guys do that, or if you're a female. If the, I love to take homeless people to lunch when they're at the restaurant, outside the restaurant. I just take them in, and we have dinner because I hate being by myself, eating by myself. Well, it's not that. I would love to help them. So take them with you and pay for an extra dinner, have them sit with you and talk to them, Treat them like humans for a change. And they love doing that. There's a lot of good stuff that people do on YouTube uh, that shows like, you know, helping people, giving people t large tips. It's just a great thing to do. They want me to become the head baker and take over the production side. But that is a tad overwhelming for me right now. The head baker training me has been a pain and not very nice. It's been difficult. Oh. I'm sorry, we'll pray for that. Depending on the situation, I'll let people know if something spelled on their shirt. That's nice. I usually say, I got your back. I do the pay it forward thing if I go get coffee. That's nice, Bobby. I coach someone not to be depressed or so. Oh, I love you, Catherine. That's awesome. That's awesome. Take snack basket to hospitals and put in ICU waiting room or surgery waiting room. Some hospitals allow. That's so nice, Debbie. See, these are the things we want to hear about. Keep going. I'll, I'll give you a couple more minutes to do that before we get to prayer requests. No, it was a sticker you used to put a phone screen on, on your phone. Okay. I'm getting a dose in training in loving my enemy. I know. They don't have to be enemies, just normal people. Maha cooks for for uh, the, a house where they have foster children who are over 18, they're in college, you know, so she, once in a while, she does really uh, like great meals, cooked meals, not not fast food, and she will have me drop it off for them. Let a person with fewer items go before me in checkout line. That's nice. 
open the door to place if I get there first. That's so sweet. Um, when I copy and I win, I share. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael. You know, smile. Smile is a good thing. Co complimenting people. People are dying for a compliment. You compliment someone. I, you know, I sometimes compliment guys. And it's like, hey, you know what? What kind of workout do you do? You know, because your chest is built. And it's, you know, I really need to work on this area. And people love it. They talk to you for hours about their workout. You know, if you see someone who's a runner, like you ask them, what's your exercise like? How can you tell? You can see from their calves. Their calves are very big, you know, it's a very solid muscle. So you know they're runners, so you talk to them. You treat, you know, people love, you know, I know people, they, you know, you only see weirdos sometimes are complaining. But, be, you know, let someone win an argument knowing they are wrong. That's nice. That's called meekness. I just try to treat people as humans. That's right. Hello, Suzanne. Welcome. I take snacks and gift cards to the care staff that takes care of my mom. Oh, that's sweet. The question is, what is something you do? Courtesy, you know. What is something you do that is nice, that we can learn from you, that you do to others? See, if you guys have any question that we can be funny, but it's uplifting and inspiring. Because sometimes I feel, which is good. I mean, the questions like worst name for this and worst name for that. That just being fun. We're not putting anybody down. But uh, sometimes it's nice to uplift people like that. So anyway, all right. If you think of something, write it down right now. It is time for the... All right, I'm not changing this the background because the camera is playing weird today. What else? What else do you like to do, Naz? I like to give, give big tips. I love that. Above and beyond what they even expect. That's always nice. If you can, if you can afford it. Sometimes you can't. Some months you can't. I'm not reading that, Suzanne. You guys know the rules in this show. We don't talk about that. Put shopping carts back. That's nice. That's very nice. All right. Pray for, uh, pray for Lily as she is right now in the middle of her mission trip to Arizona at a, at a reservation for Native American people and who really in those reservations, they really need help and they need... So she is helping them there so keep her in prayer that god will use her uh pray for bobby miller's hands pray for remy the grandson of uh, matthew and for matthew's family i uh, yes per, i like big tips and i can't lie <laughs> i say good morning to everyone i pass while walking in the medical mall and open the door for people in walkers or that's so sweet, Dolores. I help co-workers getting a box down from that self up high. I'm taller. That's nice, Amy. My doctor put me in calcium block medication because I have spiking blood pressure issues. This last praying for you, Bobby. They're building beds for people on the reservation. That's right. Anybody else needs prayer? Maggie Joan, her son's eye issue. We'll continue to pray for that. For Stop it, Neil. <laughs> prayer for Michael. His cheating love. See, Michael, when you pick the winners 10 times in a row, we kind of start worrying about that. Concerned, not worry. Concerned. We don't worry. We're concerned. You know, as you're writing your prayers, I just want you to know, you know what? Uh, the Lord Jesus said that he 
came in, his goal is to glorify the Father, to glorify God. He said, whatever I do, I do it because the Father tells me to do. He was so obedient. So if you want to be like Jesus, we need to be glorifying God with our life. Glorifying God with our life. The way we live, the way we we deal with our loved ones, the way we deal with strangers, the way we deal with people, is if our goal is to glorify God, you do your best, and God will will honor that. You know, the, the, the outcome might not be that way. People might not react to it in a nice way, but your goal is to glorify God. Sometimes doing good to people and being courteous, you know what you're doing? You're giving yourself the opportunity for that person to listen to you for a minute. You go give someone a large tip, or you go help someone walk, or you open the door to the to someone to get in. What they're going to do is they're going to appreciate it. And when they appreciate it, they give you a minute to talk. Now you decide, is this minute you're going to be talking about yourself, or how nice you are, or are you going to be talking about glorifying God, or giving God the honor, hey, you know, God bless me so much, so I want to be a blessing because God loves me and he loves you too. And he's a generous God and he blessed my life. I used to be in a very bad situation financially. But God took care of me and we're okay right now, so I'm able to be a blessing. Or you know what? You know, we're all created in God's image and I know you. maybe you're having a hard day. I just want to be an easier day. Bless you because I am blessed because of God. That's how you glorify God in this. Amen. Pray for Louisiana. It already has dangerous weather. Okay, we'll be praying for Louisiana's weather. Pray what's going on in Europe, the Middle East, America, and the whole world. Pray for Louisiana. Our area has dangerous weather on the way. Tornadoes, high winds, hail, and flooding. Oh, yeah. We'll be praying for that. And we're praying for people in the path of the storm coming. Those who want to do what God created them to do. Amen. Billy Graham people helping... By in Russia, by Russia, okay. Yeah, pray for the Ukraine. Pray for people. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I won't see you tomorrow night, but I'll see you tomorrow afternoon or evening in the, for the podcast with Dennis Agaginian. So, love you guys. Have a great night. See you.